Good morning. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I want to do a video and just remind you guys about Russell. Um, I don't know if you guys have traded it lately, but definitely worth checking out. Um, if you want more information about the setup side trade, you can go to easyeminitrade.com. I'm going to show you Russell from yesterday and definitely check it out. So this is Russell on an eight range from yesterday, and you can put it on any size range. If the market's really fast, as always, use a bigger range. If it's slower, you can get away with a smaller range. Um, just ignore this indicator here. We're still testing something. Um, so just using my regular slinky setup, using the double stochastic, using Gordon's indicator so it marks the 40-point gappers, um, as well as you know what direction I'm looking for, and then the super trend with the settings for the slinky. So this is yesterday morning off the open, so skip the open. Um, you can take pullbacks, as we've discussed before. So you can see Russell pulling back here with a 40-point gap. This is a heads up that price will go sideways or move lower. So when it's pulling back to an area, you can see it moving lower, pulling back to fair value area low um, here. So you could short actually on that and stick with the overall uh, direction of the move. Um, here you get a buy. It's technically valid um, going against the overall um, direction, but you can see that it, if it does bounce through this area here, that it'll likely retrace you know, back up to fair value area low. And then this last area here where you had some um, support previously, right? So always look to the left. So that one, there's enough room to take it. If you haven't traded Russell, it's $5 a tick. Um, and if you don't have it when you bring up your chart, you may need to add it to your, um, your bundle with your um, broker. So just keep that in mind. Short here, um, get a 40 point gap or here giving us a heads up for the opposite direction. So I'm not sure that I, that I would have taken that one. Let's see here, not interested in the buy because this 40 point gap is telling me lower support right here. Um, this one here looks pretty good, right? This is a valid buy right here, closing above the super trend stop with room up to resistance, which would be right here. And again, just look to the left, you can see it here. I'll just draw a line so you can see it right in that general vicinity there. And always look at it on another view. Look at it on your um, one minute or five minute or 15 minute, just something that's gonna give you a broader view. Um, this buy here is the one that we just talked about. Um, this one here, um, doesn't look like it was quite valid. Even if it was, it was right into this area of resistance here. So I pass, um, and then we don't get another one. However, we do get price starting to move in the opposite um, direction. So once it's established a new direction, you can look for um, pullback opportunities, you know, buying off support on a pullback or wait to take in a new entry if one presents itself, um, that would be valid. And this right here would be valid right here, you can see green line above the red, the buy here. So you can see that it's definitely worth the look. Um, this one here, I wouldn't have taken a short because I got my 40 point gapper right here telling me price is likely to go sideways or bounce. Um, now, because this was a support area and we do have our VWAP here, we have a pretty good idea that price is going to hold here or bounce. So I would probably be willing to buy the bounce off of this area. If you're, that's too risky for you, here's a new buy right here. Closing above the super trend stop, green line above the red. And check it out on the one minute chart as well for the one minute setup. Um, you don't want to ignore support and resistance areas. So on anything that you're trading, and don't trade Russell free market, but you know, looking at the one minute chart from yesterday, it's a little sloppy. But um, let's make sure this is yesterday. Yes, it is. So you can see you get a buy um, here. It's not really, um, it's not valid because of our stochastic line being an oversold. Um, so we wouldn't take that buy there. However, once it starts moving, again, you can look for a pullback opportunity. So this here looks like a decent pullback opportunity here. 
Um, but I would definitely be cautious buying this little pullback here. I'd be looking at this area right here as possible resistance. And then if it gets through, then I would be looking up in this area here. Just again, look to the left. And then here's a buy here. It's valid. Take it right here. And on the one minute, I don't wait for closes above or below the super trend stop. I just want to be on the correct side of that 30 EMA and um, have my stochastic agree. Um, another nice buy here. Technically not valid because the green line's below the red, but we're getting that 40-point um, gap there, giving us a heads up for a stall and or bounce. So um, I would probably take that. So just be aware of the areas that you're taking on the trade, but definitely check it out, okay? And, of course, if you're going to start with something new, look at it in SIM first. And then the other thing I wanted to point out, too, I don't know um, if a lot of you are using the Keygen setup that um, we came up with um, a couple years ago. That also looks pretty good on Russell um, as well. So if you are trading the Keygen setup, check that out as well on the one minute, okay? All right, as always, any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, I will chat with you all soon. You all take care.